Hello, brothers and sisters. I'm just Joe, no title, and I'm so glad that you joined me for the Lord's Word of God today. We celebrate Yeshua, Jesus, and we know that all things happen for a reason, and that is so he shows us he is Alpha and Omega, the beginning and the end, and there is no other master of the universe. Amen? Amen. And so the message today is about being meek. Moses was meek. And we know that God loves the humble, but he resists the proud. So let's look at a passage like that. Please turn with me to the book of 1 Peter chapter 5. And we'll start reading in verse 5. Likewise, you younger people, submit yourself to your elders. Yes, all of you be submissive to one another and be clothed with humility. For God resists the proud, but he gives grace to the humble. And so, brothers and sisters, in the church, we need to lift up the elders, people that are the older ones. A good rule of thumb is always talk to people like you are lower than they are. And then you will always be that humble servant that God will lift up someday. Amen? Amen. So now turn with me to the book of Luke chapter 16. We're going to read it about a true story that starts in verse 19. There was a certain rich man who was clothed in purple and fine linen and fared sumptuously every day. But there was a certain beggar named Lazarus, full of sores, who was laid at his gate, desiring to be fed by the crumbs which fell from the rich man's table. Moreover, the dogs came and licked his sores. So it was that the beggar died and was carried by the angels to Abraham's bosom. The rich man also died and was buried. And being tormented in hell, he lifted his eyes and saw Abraham afar off and Lazarus in his bosom. Then he cried and said, Father Abraham, have mercy on me and send Lazarus that he may dip his finger in water and cool my tongue. For I am being tormented in this flame. You see, brothers and sisters, obviously the rich man looked down upon this poor beggar. And the poor beggar was lifted up to heaven. Amen? Amen. And it's like I told you before, I don't care who you are, what status you have. If you look upon people like you are lower than them, you will never fall into this trap of being puffed up with pride and have God against you. Amen? Amen. Turn with me to the book of Matthew chapter 25. And what this is, is it's talking about judgment day and how Christ is going to separate the good from the bad. He puts the good people on the right hand side. And he puts the bad people on the left hand side. And we'll start reading in verse 34. Then the king will say to those on the right hand. Come you blessed of my father. Inherit the kingdom prepared for you from the foundation of the world. For I was hungry and you gave me food. I was thirsty and you gave me drink. I was a stranger and you took me in. I was naked and you clothed me. I was sick and you visited me. I was in prison and you came to me. Then the righteous will answer and say to him, Lord, when did we see you hungry and feed you? When did we see you thirsty and give you drink? Then the king will answer and say to them, Assuredly, I say to you, as much as you did it to one of the least of these, my brethren, you did it to me. Then he will also say to those on the left hand, Depart from me, you cursed into everlasting fire, prepared for the devil and his angels. For I was hungry, and you gave me no food. I was thirsty, and you gave me no drink. Then they also answered him, saying, Lord, when did we see you hungry and thirsty and not give you food and drink? Or a stranger, or naked, or sick in prison, and did not minister to you? Then he will answer and say, Assuredly, I say to you, inasmuch as you did not do it to one of the least of these, you did not do it to me. And these will go away into everlasting punishment and the righteous into everlasting life. So brothers and sisters, keep on track. Stay humble. You never know who you're talking to. In the old text, we read where Jacob is wrestling with a man. I think he was thinking it was his brother Esau. But it turns out it was actually Jesus before he comes incarnated from heaven to die for the sins of you and me. It's actually the Lord himself in human form. And he is wrestling with this man. That's what the word of God says. And then he discovers it's actually God almighty. And he desires to be blessed by him. Brothers and sisters, God can do anything. God can be right in front of you, talking to you with his hand out for food. And you deny him. 
or worse, be mean to him. Now, let me tell you a story. I'm at church one day and church ends and I walk out with a gentleman who's the oldest person in the church at the time, very close to 80 years old, a true man of God. I've never seen the Holy Spirit more in any individual than that man. And so we walk out to our cars are parked right next to each other. And the assistant manager walks over to, uh, to talk to the man that I'm walking with. And the first thing out of his mouth is he makes fun of the man because he dyes his hair black. So after the man left, I asked my friend, who knows more about the Bible than I do, how could that happen to this man of God who is filled with the Holy Spirit? He said he left a little crack to let the devil in. Don't let that happen to you, brothers and sisters. And let's say that that man that was standing next to me, that 80-year-old man that was full of the Holy Spirit, and the assistant pastor comes and makes a joke out of him, and makes fun of him. What if it was Jesus himself? And you say, well, the pastor didn't know it was Jesus. Well, you know what, brothers and sisters? It doesn't matter. Remember, Jesus says, you did not give to the least. It was as if you didn't give it to me. So remember, brothers and sisters, always talk to people like you are lower than they are. Amen? Amen. And so let us continue carrying the cross given to us by taking Christ as our master, our teacher, our example. Believe his doctrine and obey him and continue reading up every day and praying up every day. And keep the love of Yeshua in your hearts. And we'll all be with our Lord and Savior someday for eternity. Amen. Amen.